Welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in the city. And now I live in the Midwest on a farm and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Hey y'all, I'm so excited today to show you this recipe. It's chili cheesecake appetizer. I went through a cheesecake stage where I made all kinds of cheesecakes. This is one of them. <laughs> if you've never made a salty cheesecake, you're gonna love this cheesecake. Let me show you what you'll need. Tortilla chips, butter, cream cheese, sharp cheddar cheese, cottage cheese, sour cream, eggs, and diced green chilies. Hey y'all, I'm so excited about this cheesecake today because it is not a sweet cheesecake, it is a savory cheesecake. <laughs> I love all cheesecake. Salty cheesecake, chili cheesecake, savory cheesecake, frozen cheesecake, cooked cheesecake, creme brulee, which is kind of cheesecake. <laughs> My sweet husband Rick loves just good old New York cheesecake. This one is so much fun because it's an appetizer and it's salty and it has a little zip. <laughs> the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make our crust out of crushed tortilla chips. Isn't that fun? <laughs> I happen to have some tortilla chips that were about to go stale. So this is awesome. This is gonna save those chips. <laughs> this is redemption for these chips. <laughs> I just use whatever I have on hand. I've never used like a spiced chip, like a Dorito chip, I've never used that. I always just use these. But if you want a little kick in there, try Doritos. You do you. <laughs> I've already crushed my tortilla chips because you'll need two cups and I put it in this little cat measuring cup that Shani gave me. I thought I would just use this for fun. So I put my two cups of crushed tortilla chips in there, and now I'm gonna put two tablespoons of melted salted butter. And that's gonna be our crust. Isn't that so fun? So like not graham crackers, but tortilla chips. I love it. <laughs> it's so creative. <laughs> Get out your springform pan. This is one of my springform pans, and it's an 8-inch pan. I usually use a 10-inch, but go ahead and use your 8-inch springform pan for this so it'll be nice and tall. <laughs> also, you don't need to use a specific springform pan. You'll just need to kind of watch it in the oven because you don't want it to burn, especially this cheesecake. You do not want it to burn or overcook. <laughs> Again, it's still going to taste great. <laughs> okay. Let's put these redemption chips in that springform pan. Like, why does butter make everything better? Like the butter added to these tortilla chips, it smells so good. Just pressing this down just like a graham cracker crust, only it's a tortilla crust. I've never thought of putting butter on my tortilla chips. Butter dip, melted butter dip. Yum. I mean, really simple and plain, but yummy. Oh, this is great. Okay, this is pressed in. Now we're gonna make our filling layer. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm melting my cream cheese in just this clear Pyrex bowl. I have lost my white bowl that I always use that was Russell's from college. So, <laughs> do you ever do that? I need to call my sweet mother in love Pam and have her come over. She can find anything. <laughs> I don't like super spicy things, and so. I'm not gonna put jalapeno peppers in here, but you absolutely could if you wanted to. I love things that you can make mild or spicy according to your taste, and that's what this is. I love cream cheese. Sweet, salty, by itself, with a spoon, melted, whipped, whatever. <laughs> well, I'm trying to crack open these Fort Knox cream cheeses. <laughs> I'm trying to think if there's anything that does not go with cream cheese. <laughs> that's a challenge. <laughs> I can't think of anything. I wouldn't want to waste any of the cream cheese that's stuck on here, so I'm just gonna be a good citizen and eat this cream cheese. <laughs> this cream cheese is supposed to be softened, and I usually forget to leave my cream cheese out to be softened, and sometimes I'll leave it out, and it's hot forever, and then it's done. <laughs> so, then it goes to cupcake. So, I like to just microwave mine a little bit. Don't forget to put a paper plate or something on the top, or else your microwave will <laughs> not be so happy. Your cream cheese is softened, then you're going to put four eggs in. <laughs> this is my little anthropology bowl one of my daughters got me years ago. <laughs> I think it was Madeline. 
Madeline's my daughter whose love language is gifts. <laughs> Do you have one of those? Do you have a person in your life whose love language is gifts? <laughs> they are so easy. <laughs> you just buy them something. <laughs> it can be a pack of gum. <laughs> Doesn't even have to be expensive. <laughs> my niece Addison is also a gift love language person. <laughs> okay, four eggs. I'm mixing up the eggs and the cream cheese a little bit. <laughs> Whenever you have eggs, I feel like you need to mix them a little bit. <laughs> Do y'all feel that way? Next, we're gonna add a cup and a half of shredded cheddar. I spilled a little bit of cheddar cheese when I was pouring it in. Party. <laughs> I mix it a little bit after each ingredient, just for fun. I'm adding my one cup of cottage cheese. I love cottage cheese. It's so yummy and it's so good for you and you just feel like when it's in there, <laughs> it's like eating a kale salad. <laughs> That's what I tell myself. <laughs> Speak kindly to yourselves, y'all. <laughs> then comes a cup of sour cream. I am almost out of my giant tub of sour cream. I need to get some more. All those cheeses smell so good. <laughs> then I'm gonna add my diced green chilies. These are mild, so get spicy if you like spicy. Oh, this smells so good. I mean, besides the raw eggs, you could just eat this. <laughs> I'm not afraid of raw eggs. <laughs> raw cookie dough. I'm definitely gonna have a big spoonful of this before I put it in the pan. Full disclosure. I need my white bowl. This one's too small for this. <laughs> I just have to be a little more careful and not slosh it out. <laughs> Y'all, this is so heavy. <laughs> just to let you know, I'm gonna do some curls with this. <laughs> do y'all see how you can just eat this by itself? I mean, take a tortilla chip and just dredge it through there. Yum. I'm gonna put this in a 350 degree oven for one hour. I just took this out of the oven. It smells divine. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Only it's burning hot, so that keeps me from taking a big spoonful. <laughs> I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put sour cream on the top, almost to the edges. This is so pretty. <laughs> and the garnish on top is optional, and you can be as creative as you want to. You can do all kinds of designs and art. <laughs> Cooking is so fun. <laughs> this is just a drained can of Rotel, mild, that I'm gonna put on it too. I'm just gonna add some cheese. And lastly, I'm just gonna add some chives to the top. It was so much fun making chili cheesecake appetizer with y'all today. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time.